Well, new this morning, a company launched the world's first 3D printed rocket from Cape Canaveral. Amanda Holly's here to tell us more about this first of a kind rocket. It wasn't a perfect launch. But this is incredible that this is even possible. Yeah, so first of its kind, 3D printed mm. rocket. Really, really cool stuff here. The company Relativity Space, they've been working on this unique manufacturing process for about six years. Although it did not reach orbit, the, the company does call this a successful test launch. So the rocket lifted off from the launch pad and made it through about three minutes of flight, which is very impressive for a brand new rocket like this. You can see the blue hue to the flame as well. Well, that is because they use methane as their fuel source, which is an up and coming cheaper and more efficient rocket fuel. Now, about 80 seconds after launch, it successfully passes through the moment of highest stress on the rocket. This proves that the materials they have developed for 3D printing are strong enough to withstand the stresses of all of uh, the stresses of a launch. Now, this was Relativity's main objective for this inaugural launch was passing through that max Q moment. The ability to manufacture a rocket this way will be a game changer to the space industry because not only are they cheaper to make, but much faster to produce. The company says they can go from raw material to full rocket in just 60 days. Now, the rocket also had a successful shutdown of the main engine and then separation of the first stage. But there was an issue with that second engine starting, which ultimately led to it not reaching orbit. Either way, again, main objective for them was to pass through that Max-Q. They did that, and those materials, they're strong enough, Lee. It's pretty cool. I mean, it's incredible, 60 days. Yeah, 60 days to go from, uh, from, from raw material to full built rocket. And that includes its engines, which is, which is pretty that cool. Is that is else. wild. That, that really will change everything, right? Yep. All right, thanks, Amanda.